Hello folks and welcome to yet another Hearts of Iron 4 playthrough. This time we're going to be playing Yugoslavia. Why Yugoslavia you ask? Well, I've be I got a lot of requests to play Cuba and New Zealand among other countries because you know uh, once you finish a series and ask for their opinions or even during a uh, show, people are always like, oh, can't you play as Austria and reform the Austro-Hungarian Empire? That actually would be a lot of fun. And I think uh, I really want to play that at some point, but uh, unfortunately, you know, we've, we've got to settle for something. Cuba sounds also very interesting, sounds difficult though, and I think I'm going to hold off with that for a while. Um, Maybe for some mod, it'd be cool to play during the Cold War. I do have a Cold War mod installed, so maybe some other time. New Zealand, though, not really sure how to play that, so... Yeah, I'll hold off on that. Uh, and we, we've got a lot of things going on with Europe and the Rosales for Rights of Man, so that also, that's also partially why we are not starting, like, two or three series. I'd r really love to do that, but, you know... We, we have a limited amount of time, so we're going to be playing Yugoslavia. It seems it's like a medium, it's not a big power. People have been requesting that I play a major nation again, but Yugoslavia can easily become a, ma a major again if you play your cards right. And of course, we are going to play uh, be playing as communist Yugoslavia, uh, because that will give us a little bit more levy time. I mean, we could play a fascist Yugoslavia, but that sounds kind of boring. You know, we've got two major fascist powers over here. Uh, not really interested in that, so, and, and you know, Hungary, Romania, and Bulgaria all become fascist with, uh, historical event chains, so we're gonna go Iron Man mode, and we're going to go historical AI, uh, focuses just to, uh, you know, follow the path that history kind of took, and, uh, by joining the common turn, we'll, uh, we'll buy, be able to kind of hold off a major confrontate, confront, uh, confrontation with the German Reich and Italy until 1941. Yugoslavia unfortunately does not come with its uh, set of uh, unique uh, focus, national foci, but well, you know, we, we can do uh, with this, and by doing this we'll get 120 political power, so that's worth it. Of course, that's what we always start with if we're gonna rush our little uh, communist revolutionary here, uh, Ivo Lola Ribar. I'm, I pro I'm probably mispronouncing that terribly, but yes, we want to conquer Bulgaria and Romania, hopefully, before uh, we reach 35% uh, world tension, because then the Allies are going to start, you know, ensuring, making sure we don't invade other things. Oh my god, my voice. In terms of research, we're going to go for uh, some industrial focus and land. Uh, we are going to totally ignore the Navy because that's actually kind of useless. In fact, I've been thinking we could even disband this group here. Not, <sighs> hmm, maybe not necessary, really. I mean, we can send them on a mission, but they are pretty much doomed to die. We also happen to have really low manpower, uh, so that will be our second priority after we get our communist revolutionary in power. We do have a national spirit, which is pretty nice. Ideology... Uh, drift defense plus five percent anti-German military there, uh, so that will be awesome. I like how we have a Regency Council and we have Prince Paul here, uh, but Prince Paul looks like an adult, so that's kind of strange. I mean, he might be like seventeen, but I don't, I don't know. Sounds sounds strange to me. There we go. The remilitarization of the Rhineland two percent. World Tension Political Effort 2 gives us, uh, that's the political power is looking for. Let's put uh, Mr. Evo Lola Ribar here. Um, and uh, then, while workers rise up against their oppressors around the world, those who claim to have achieved class consciousness in Yugoslavia sit idly by and wait for change to come from within a political system so thoroughly corrupt only revolution could save us from, uh, from it. So... Increases the chance of internal support for a communist coup, or increases the chance of popular support for a communist uprising. Uh, we want a coup, of course, because we don't want to shed blood. Generally speaking, I tend to go industrial here early on, so we can kind of get an advantage, but I'm gonna try to rush internationalism focus so we can get that uh, communist uprising, or not uprising, the coup, going a lot faster. 
so let's already take the uh, collectivist ethos. Uh, in order to change the conscription rules, I'm thinking maybe we should wait until we're communist, actually, because then we'll be able to start fabricating and change the rule here. Uh, we will, however... Mm, yeah, war economy would also be nice to change. Free trade, what does that give us? Should we do that? I really don't know. I think we're going to go ahead and recruit or select the uh, military high command or supreme commander or whatever. Uh, Yasa Jona... Jovanovic. Jovanovic or Jovanovic? I, I'm not really sure how you pronounce that. If there are any uh, Serbs, Croats, or uh, Bosnians or whatever, do let me know. Uh, now, yes, yes, we're, we're going to take him and then we're just going to store some political power for when we uh, turn communist. The games of the 11th Olymp Olympiad have been uh, finished. The games are concluded. Whatever. I don't really care. It was so nice when we played as Germany and became communist because, you know, we just got a series of events that basically got the communists to power in the matter of a few months from the start of the game. But, uh, yeah, otherwise it does take its time. Uh, so, mid-37 is my guess. Italy took one state, Ethiopia was the next. I wonder how much world tension that caused. Oh, the peace treaty actually lowered world tension. We are, of course, working on a massive, not massive, but, you know, starting off with a small defensive barrier over here uh, on the future German border, German-Italian. Um, so that's going to be good. You know, getting to that to level 10 might take a lot of work, but we'll try uh, by 1941, right? So we do have a few years. There we go. Marxist sympathies in government, although the party line of the Regency Council is... Uh, too strongly oppose, or to strongly oppose revolutionary socialism, keeping a watchful eye on the national or nation's radical left-wing elements. Some people in government are more open to the possibility. If nothing else, they seem uh, see room for addressing the concerns of the people who look to communists for solutions without risking a full-scale civil war. We'll keep a close eye on them too, for many reasons. Oh, if public support is sufficient, a public or a coup can be executed. Good, good, excellent. The Spanish Civil War. What will this mean for Spain? Nationalist Spain has declared war on Spain. Now, let's see. Of course, since we are neutral, or uh, we are non-aligned, rather, uh, we cannot send volunteers. But we do have uh, an army that's large enough, I think. No, 30 divisions, right? We only have like 26? No, 22. Yes, while the popular movement for communist revolution has been loud and terrifying, a certain selection or section of the political movement has largely, uh, been largely quiet and waiting. The wait is now over. Today, just as the Regency Council leadership and the army were bracing for a revolt on a national scale, a number of officials in the Yugoslavian government swiftly placed Prince Paul under house arrest and entered negotiations with the rebels. Uh, while retaining a pretense of safeguarding order, what the negotiations effectively amounted to was uh, to secure positions within the new socialist state for those who to, uh, chose to cooperate. The coup was finished before anyone could move to stop it, and those who would have are now imprisoned, exiled, or executed by the new regime. The tides of history will sweep away the past. The KPJ becomes a ruling party. Public elections will not be held. Gra gains Reign of Terror, which grants political power gain plus 10% for 730 days. Oh, I love that. And yeah, that's uh, Tito in power, I believe. And now just a wait. Pause there. Let's check it out. Oof, nice. Nice portrait there. Um, so now we just have to make sure to become the majority party, and that will probably happen in due time. But we can already go ahead and... Should we do extensive cons conscription? No, yeah, tra tra training time plus 10%. I don't really feel like jumping. Oh, yeah, that, that also needs 450. Um, but yes, let's see. War economy... More than 15% world tension. I don't remember that. Uh, that might be a new thing. But yes, let's go to extensive conscription, shall we? And we are, of course, rushing that extra research slot, which is very nice. We can't get the extra, the two second one, because we don't have 50 factories. But that should change within time. So let's get infrastructure effort two. And we'll be there in just a second. 
So it looks like I can't join the common turn just yet, uh, but that's mostly because my opinion is, is low and I'm not neighboring the faction. So we'd have to invade Romania for that. But yes, we are going to sign a non-aggression pact and start to improve relations, I guess. Uh, we are also going to go ahead and fabricate or justify a war goal on um, Bulgaria here. Let's, uh, two, ooh, 340. That's quite a lot. Yikes. Uh, what's the shortest one? Mm, yeah, we'll, we'll need uh, to actually store some political power first. And of course, we've reached that uh, really annoying Hearts of Iron 4 stage where it your positive relations are exactly the same as your negative ones, and there's nothing else I can do about it. So that's kind of really annoying, but uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, oh yes, we need still mo 10 more political power, unfortunately, but uh, I think we're going to go ahead and just fabricate on one province, because, you know, once we just... We only need to fabricate on one province. Yes, it's going to be 10% cheaper to conquer or to annex it, but if we're the only participants, it won't really matter. Amelia Earhart disappears, a loss for aviation. A leadership purges in the Soviet Union. Joseph Stalin has secured the stability in or stability in the Soviet Union. Well, well, well. Uh, soon we'll just find Trotsky dead in Mexico, I guess. Uh, but yes, they're... Oh, damn it. Come on, what is the... Okay, yes, we're not neighboring. That is that it? That's That's all you... That's your complaint? What if I could, oh yeah, but, you know, we're gonna border each other soon. If I told you that, would you change your mind? Message from the Soviet Union changes their diplomatic status with us to guarantee independence. Thank you very much. Now I can join. That's only because I started fabricating their wonderful, uh, world tension will go up just a little bit, but that's fine. And, uh, we should, we're now part of the common turn. Or rather, now we are, like, a few hours later, uh, cause, you know. Sending messages does take its time. Telegrams uh, weren't immediate forms of communication. I think across the Atlantic, I think it would take 30 minutes. Uh, I'm not sure about that, though. Oh, but I forgot. Yes, they, they had telephones. <laughs> you know, we're in the 40s, not or 30s, not uh, the 1800s. Marco Polo Bridge Incident. Inter interesting times indeed. That raises world tension, of course. Um... Not sure if we should already start fabricating on Romania. Is it three months we get from the end of fabrication to the time we can declare war? I think it is. Right, it's SFR Yugoslavia. That's what I was looking for. I uh, forgot to mention that at some point. SFR, so Socialist Federated Republics of Yugoslavia, I believe. Uh, I'm not sure about that either. In short, never quote Game Gabster on anything, because uh, he's never sure of what he says. Uh, oof. Actually, maybe we should send volunteers. This might be quite important for us. He says as uh, he realizes that we don't even have 30 divisions. We are recruiting though, but we have a very small amount of infantry equipment. So we do need to militarize uh, a bit faster. America, or the United States of America, I do have a feeling. I have a slight sensation, you know. Every game, you're just so OP. So, you know, we're going to send uh, uh, a... We're, we're really going to fund communism in in the U.S. We're, we're going to fund the uh, Comintern member parties over there. We're going to boost their popularity and make sure that they come to power at some point. Not today, not tomorrow, but in uh, perhaps many years to come. Conflict in China, Japanese built up on Chinese border, yes. Uh, now we do have another research slot available here, uh, which we will use... No, we have to wait for that. Let's go ahead... I mean, motorized is good because then we can get field hospitals, which I always love, but it's not really uh, relevant right now. I'd rather go for uh, the national focus that gives us a cheaper motorized research cost. Um, this could be useful. Definitely, I think yeah. We're I think we're gonna go with superior firepower only because of the massive um, soft attack bonus. Uh, it's always better. I mean, especially if we have a lot of infantry with it, which I think we will. So Japan has declared war on a bunch of people and will continue to do so. Uh, the only p <sighs> this is worrying because uh, I don't want to declare war. Or, like I want to be able to conquer Romania and Bulgaria at least before. 
uh, that thing reaches 35%. Uh, but once it starts, you know, it's not going to come down from 23. I, I doubt it. Oh, also, something new with the latest Hearts of Iron patch is uh, the plans now are colored after your army. So that's quite nice. I was actually looking, I was because I saw some other YouTubers um, having colored lines, and I was like, "What? I haven't seen that." Uh, and I thought, "Oh, maybe you can color, you know, choose the color of your your operation." Uh, but I didn't find that. So yes, it, it it is based on the color you choose here. So if I choose blue, that's going to go ahead and become blue. Quite nice. Quite nice. Oh, there we go, War Economy, that's that's what I want, thank you very much. Italy announces claims on Yugoslavian territory, how dare they? Speaking to the Italian population along the Dalmatian coast, Benito Mussolini has announced that Italy will f fully consider Italian-speaking territory in uh, our beautiful Yugoslavia to be rightfully part of Italy. An official statement backed the claims, making it clear that Italy is prepared to take the territory by force if need be. Well... Are you in the Axis yet? Yeah. No, you haven't joined the Axis. Well, if you do attack, you're kind of screwed. I mean, I don't know how fast or how uh, the Soviets would shuffle troops here, but they they would. And uh, I, I can just say, you know, bye-bye Italy. I have a hard time seeing the Republicans winning this uh, war here. Um, which is very unfortunate, because uh, it'd be very helpful if they were on our side and not Germany's. We are already going to begin our fabrication on Romania, uh, which could end up badly, I I'm not sure here. Uh, we, if we're going to fabricate for this 70 oil province here, that would be very nice. I know that the Soviets would probably grab uh, quite a bit if we do invade, but um, it, it, it'd be good. Bulgarian workers, your liberation is near. Yes, you shall join the mighty Yugoslav uh, Federation. Ooh, and so it begins, the Anschluss of Austria, if that is what they wish. Yes, now we border the mighty and very scary Grey Wolf. The conquest justification is finished. 3 p.m., 11th of March, 1938. That is the date we declare war on uh, Bulgaria. Uh, call allies. We don't have allies? Okay, well, we do. We, so we could technically call in the uh, entire common turn, but I think we'll, uh, we'll be fine for now without any help. The Soviet Union wishes to join. For now, I'm actually going to go ahead and decline. Uh, I'll ask them in if, they, uh, if we do need it, but I, I doubt it. I really doubt it. We took Sofia after only two weeks into the war, and now we're one month in, uh, and, uh, well, they're actually pretty close to capitulation. We only uh, need to take uh, Plovdiv here, probably, and uh, everything shall, uh, or they shall be liberated, rather. Two months in, and we are just on the border here. We're not border, but we're on the outskirts of their provisional capital, which is probably a very small city, I imagine. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Uh, I mean, I, it's just that's my imagination. It might be actually quite big, but uh, you know, the tiles don't. That that doesn't look like a city. There we go. We have uh, entirely occupied their country. This should uh, get them to surrender. Only two months. Well, pretty good, I'd say. And that is the Treaty of Varna right there. Let's click done. Uh, we have next them 33% uh, world tension. So we can still go ahead and declare war on Romania, hopefully, uh, without them be. Oh, Romania is guaranteed. Well, what about Greece? What about Greece? That is the question. Maybe they were guaranteed before, and I just didn't check. Are the Hungarians guaranteed? That increased my border. Uh, I really don't know. Who should I go ahead and conquer next? I mean, most most people, I think, go for Greece, but Greece is uh, quite uh, a little bit of a pain to take down. Also, they do have... Ah, well, not too many divisions. But it'd be nice to have Romania, though, just because of the uh, connection to to the Soviet Union, so they can shovel troops. Uh, but I guess Greece is an option. 
Hungary is also an option, but again, uh, our border with the Axis could become very large, and I feel, I just sense, you know, that uh, they might be joining the Axis very soon. However, I think that will be all for today. Don't forget to leave a like, it really helps me out. Share with your friends, uh, follow me on Twitter, subscribe if you haven't already, and join my Discord server if you really want to talk to me and have a nice chat, you know. Um, so that's pretty cool. And yes, this has been Game Gabster. Thank you so much for watching. Farewell. <laughs>